Hey, this is Synetic Starcraft, and welcome back to another commentary. Today we're going to be going against Puck, the Grandmaster player at rank 26 with 149 wins and 96 losses. And here we go. So the map we'll be playing on today will be Antigua Shipyard, probably one of the better maps on my side that I don't hate as much. But nonetheless, uh, this is a pretty good map. The ramps are decently sized. This one might be a bit big. Uh, third base is pretty easy to access. This map is pretty good. IMO. So we are going to be going against the Protoss player Puck. And uh, he is doing, at least I think he's doing, let me see. Yeah, he is. He's getting his two probes to mine uh, the two closer patches here. This is pretty high level stuff where uh, you make your miners uh, rotate their, you know, mine the closer minerals so you get more minerals is the general idea. And I think the sound is way too loud, so I'm going to turn it down just a tad bit. Probably that much should be good. Might be still a bit too loud, but um, that's okay. You can live with it. Uh, so, um, Mutaling still is viable, even though in my ZVPs I have been using uh, roaches a lot. This one, I'll be showing you guys how to use Mutaling uh, against, uh, or in the higher levels of play. Second Overlord, I like to spot for pylons, uh, cannons behind, and rally it over here, where it can spot probes, run through, zealots, you know, uh, pylons here and all that. Uh, that is where I put my second, opening up with speed first for Mutaling. Uh, Speedling's always good, and it doesn't look like he's going for a Forge Faz expand, so uh, our Econs are going to be pretty similar for now. And uh, there's nothing too much to say at the start. Uh, if you don't know how, how to do a speed opener, it's uh, I shouldn't say obviously, but uh, it's 14 gas, 14 pool. Drones right on gas, and uh, you should get 100 when your pool pops. You get Zergling speed, Queen, and two Zerg or four, two pairs of Zerg, two pairs of Zerglings or four Zerglings. Uh, and you expand off that. So uh, he looks like he's going to be going a uh, probably one or three gate expand from what it looks like from now. Not quite sure what he did. Couldn't really remember, but uh, his pool is almost up, and I will be making that Queen speed and Zerglings pretty soon. On the other hand, he is making a cybernetics core. Nothing too special yet. Uh, just scouting around with my overlords. Uh, putting your first five, maybe like your first four or five overlords, really need to be in good positions for almost every map so that they can see stuff. Pulling off uh, two drones, leaving one drone in gas to mine just a little bit to tech up to uh, layer or plus one as fast as I can. In this game, I go for the f or the faster think care price, but uh, I am going to get my speedling expand at 21, or my expansion at 21. Speedlings coming out now, well not speedlings yet, but they are uh, going to be getting that upgrade pretty soon just for scouting. And it looks like he's probably going to do a one gate expand here, which is a bit greedy on his half, but uh, three gate expands aren't as common as they used to be before, so just making drones, spreading creep and uh, killing this probe. Gonna go in and scout and then I'll finally see that he's going uh, this one gate expand. Chrono boosting a sentry and he has a stalker as well but uh, I'm not too concerned about uh, two stalker pressure or two stalker one zealot pressure because I do have speedlings and speedlings can kill stalkers pretty fast and uh, I do have two hatcheries so uh, I will be able to thwart off any stalker or zealot pressure that he puts on me if he decides to but he is going for the one gate expand so he probably won't uh gateway coming down right now and uh this drone is preparing for a fast third getting a evil chamber now and gonna get plus uh plus one care is really fast to counteract uh what most protoss tend to do is get a really fast plus one weapons which allows the zealots to two shot zerglings and uh Obviously getting one armor above their, uh, what do you call it, plus one attack will negate it, I think, even though the zealots whack twice, but let's hope I'm correct with that. Should be getting that pretty soon when I get 150 gas. Getting a quick third at around six minutes is the way to go. And uh, he looks like he's just going to defend this, making a pretty decent wall off. He only needs one fourth field to block off, so that is a pretty nice, nicely walled off, uh, expansion three gates are up right now 
third going up right now for me, getting that plus one care price now. And the next 100 gas should be going to Lair or Roaches, depending if he does a four gate or something, which is not the case. I did scout the expansion. A Robo facility hiding down here. Uh, just droning up. 30 to 27 drones, making a lot more right now. So I'm going to saturate these three bases. But uh, what I like to do is saturate two bases and then see what he's going for before I saturate my third just to prevent any risky 7 gate all ins or any of that. Creep spread is pretty good as there are two tumors and he th hasn't killed any of them yet. These six zerglings just going around scouting, making a roach war in at around 630, I believe. Just in case he goes for that massive gate pressure, getting my gas now and layer starting around 730. Zerglings just doing a little bit of harassment, checking out what he's doing. But uh, off of one gate expand, there's nothing too much he. There's there's not much he can do too early in the game without uh, risking losing all his sentries and stalkers, which would be really bad. It looks like he's going three gate robo in the Colossus, so he's going to do a really early Colossus push or something of the like, making a forge at the uh, big, the outside to uh, make his ramp a bit smaller. Uh, getting two more gases and just droning up all the way because there's nothing too much you can do to pressure me. Sending in an Overlord Scout right now. Don't see anything yet, but uh, there is nothing to see up there. They get Robo Bay is down here. The Robo Bay is down here and the Robo facilities there. Getting a Warp Prism, so that is pretty interesting. And warping in some uh, Stalkers and Sentries to deny my Scout. But uh, we want to look at my vision. I do see the Robo Facility, but I don't think... Oh, I do see the Robotics Bay as well. Or wait, what the hell? Where did they go? I don't think I actually saw that in-game. We Weird. Weird. I don't think I saw it, but uh, seeing that Robo, I do decide to go Spire, and Mutaling is so good against Robo. It's, still, it's almost a fact where Roaches suck against Robo. And... Uh, Immortals and Stalkers rape them, so I really hate going Roaches against Robotech. And it looks like he is getting uh, Gravetic, Gravetic Drive? Something to increase the movement speed in War Prisms. Getting a fast Colossus as well. And uh, me on the other end, making a bunch of lings, getting ready uh, to stop some kind of attack, because I don't see a second base yet, so this is making me wary of what he's trying to do. Maybe. Uh, a two Colossus mass gateway push. So I am being very cautious and making a lot of lings right now. I would be ideally want to saturate this base and get these two gases up running, but I don't feel safe enough to do so. Getting uh, plus one melee as well right now. Just doing lots of injections, getting all my gases running, and I'll be able to make around uh, nine or nine mutas around. Let's see how much I make. Make around eight, nine. Should be getting the plus one soon. Leaving a Zergling at his third and one in his front when he moves out. But it doesn't look like he's going to move out yet. He's going to make an expansion right here to the third and I do spot that. So I do feel safe to uh, start joining up a bit after this. And it looks like he's doing a Colossus drop with uh, a Warp Prism. So I obviously very bad timing as my meters have just popped up. And uh, the fast attack animation on the Colossus does... It would be really annoying if I didn't have mutas, but since I have the mutas, uh, I'm not going to be able to chase down this warp prism though, because he did get the warp prism speed, and he does save the colossus as well as the warp prism. And after seeing his army being so small, I do feel a bit confident to uh, drone up my third base just a little bit. 60 to 60 harvest harvesters right now, but he doesn't have his third base yet. Getting his plus one now and blink as well as. Uh, Extended thermal lands for his colossus. Lots of pylons going down, and my supply is just going way over his. And uh, I suck at seeing observers, so I can never find them. I don't know. Uh, most people like to play on low graphics. A lot of the pros, mm, they like to play on low graphics because it's e easier to spot the observers, but I don't know. StarCraft 2 needs high graphics, man. I just don't enjoy playing a bad graphic game, even though. Uh, increases your winning chances by a bit. So going up to 66 drones, go making 6 more and just making a ton of mutas and getting upgrades. So that's really what I need for this mutaling. And uh, my mutas can scout now, see how big his army is constantly, see if he has blink, see everything he has. 
Looks like he's going to try to snipe off a creep tumor with that observer and three stalkers and he can just blink back up so that is pretty smart. But uh, I have tons of links here and I barely will be able to get one. Nope, not even. So he does save all stalkers and kills off a creep tumor which is pretty annoying. Only have one creep tumor left. And I don't have a creep spreading queen in this game so that could be really really annoying. But as you can see my supply is just way over his um, getting overload speed just so overlords can move faster I guess. <laughs> good for scouting, good for... good for... Uh, I don't know. I don't know why I got overlord speed to be honest. So just a ton of mutas coming in here trying to do damage. Losing two or three mutas there which is probably pretty bad. I don't know why I decided to attack into that cannon. Maybe I didn't realize he was blink yet at the time so now I do know he has blink. Gonna move in with my uh, Wings and Mutas, just seeing if he has his third. Tons of cannons up there. Attacking there isn't too good of an idea. And there are tons of force fields, so I do decide to back off here. This is not the right time to attack. Making a 36 more Lings, and I will make an attack after this while spending my gas on Mutas as well. Getting plus two for the Mutas and plus two attack for the Lings at 70 Harvesters. So that's a pretty good number. Ideally, I'd probably want 80 or so. It looks like this War Prism is being a little bit annoying here. And I'm thinking he's going to drop zealots or something into my base, which would be pretty annoying. And I'm going to send my meters to clean that up, even though I was planning an attack pretty soon. Getting the high yield and another base over here, as my minerals are pretty high. Uh, I don't. Ha I only have six gases running, so I don't have an incredibly enormous amount of mutas. And it looks like he's just using that to scout. So that there was nothing in that. Maxed out right now, while he is at 155 supply. Making a ton of photon cannons here to avoid mutilous craftsmen. If I did come around here, I could pick off his probes. Attacking here, it looks like I missed the action. Um, this was actually the biggest fault in this game from my play. That was probably the dumbest attack I've made because the mutas weren't in with the zerglings. The zerglings act as damage buffers to tank for the mutas while the mutas do the real damage. I mean, Zerglings obviously do a lot of damage, but they don't get too much of a surface area around that big of a Protoss ball, so it's up to the Mutas to do the damage, and I engage without the Mutas, which is kind of stupid. I don't know what my Mutas are doing, I guess the I A-clicked into that, and I thought the Mutas were closer than they were, so that was probably it. Uh, that pretty much set my advantage, that made my advantage a lot smaller than what it was, as I was so ahead this game with supply, I was doing so well with that early third. And uh, he just didn't too put too much pressure. Breaking these rocks down, coming up this ramp, and I will see like eight or six, nine cannons, and I decide, no, I'm not going into that. No way, I'm not going into that. Making eight more drones now to saturate, well, hardly, not even, that's like eight drones to the high yield. Gonna be transferring these drones pretty soon. Getting infestation to pit so I can get uh, some high tech. And uh, I wanna go back here. We missed something quite important in this game. So, uh,. While I'm moving out for my attack, uh, wait, what did I miss? Okay, let's go there. So I came in here, I saw nine cannons, I decided not to go in. Alright, this is where I didn't meet a harass. Half his stalkers went up. They all blinked, but only half of them went up there. So this is a good time to attack, because half his army's down here, half his army's up there. So his army is split up. It was a good time to attack. He does blink them all down. And I'm just trading armies right now, macroing a ton of zerglings behind this. I have a big pool of minerals. Keep up on your injects if you're going Mutaling. Seriously, if you miss a couple of injects on Mutaling, you are so prone to have had a counterattack and you might just straight up die from there. Uh, if you don't have your ball of units, you are dead. Making 50 zerglings right there, so I have so much larvae ready to remax, keeping my injects pretty good right now. And I'm just remaxing and I'm charging. I killed a decent amount of uh, sentries and I think I killed a Colossus and a couple uh, Stalkers as well. So I'm just going to keep trading armies here. I have more bases than them. Keep them contained on three bases. Let the Zerglings do a lot of damage. They're 2-2. Two, two, nope, 2-1. Mutas with 2-2 two, two do so much damage to Stalkers. I have a, such a massive ball. Is that 65 Mutas, I think? That's just a ridiculous amount. And there's just no way he... He, need, he, need, he needed more splash damage for that, uh, which uh, he was trying to get Storm, but it was a bit too late as it is unpowered and he's researching it now. And now that, it, that I'm in his base with 200 supply against 78, he doesn't look like he has much of a chance to be maxing here. Trying to make his hidden base here in a way. He can't go for the high yield, his 
there's just too much stuff out there. And these, it's just helpless from here. I mean, grabbing the plus three upgrade there, no plus three for your stalkers. Uh, things are just looking horrible right now. It's just a matter of time before I attack in with all these Erglings and Mutas and just kill them. How much Mutas do I have right now? 39 Mutas. Well, that is a ton of Mutas. Just cleaning up some attack structures. Don't want to attack into the cannons and stalkers yet without the Zerglings, so I'm just going to clean, clean up as much as I can. Uh, make the choke a little bit smaller before I send in all my Zerglings. So here they come now. And, uh... There's a tiny choke here, so I'm going to focus down the gateway with my mutas first to allow my zerglings to get in. And there goes the gateway, and there's just nothing much you can do from here. There's zerglings and mutas attacking from all sides, and uh, holy shit. So uh, that is how you uh, do a muta lane against Robo. If they don't do Robo, um, Roaches is a good idea, but then you might want to transition into Meatling. It, it really depends what they're doing. A couple overseers are just doing nothing. But uh, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, and welcome back to another commentary. They did that.